Hello, Cancer. <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing a general reading for you for your coming week. My name is Simply Vaka, and keep in mind with any type of general reading that everything may not resonate with you. I always ask everybody to rely on their intuition a little bit whenever they are receiving a message. This is because I could be talking about uh, a relationship, but for you, the cards may be pertaining to a work situation, right? So it is up to you to take the messages from tarot and to relate it to your life in specific. Since I'm not pulling your cards in specific, I may not be hitting the mark the entire time, right? Um, but if this reading is a resonance to you, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card resonated with you and how it called to you how it spoke to you the most um <clears throat> and because i just enjoy knowing how like you know that's my feedback from you guys right and if this reading is resonant of resonance to you guys and gives you a sense of direction then um i would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much but uh let's get into your reading now for your first row i pulled three rows for y'all your first row we have the ten two of swords we have the ten of cups and then we have the Nine of Swords. There's like friction with the person. I say this because it's like the Two of Swords with the Necronomicon big imagery. You're holding a knife and you're connecting to some type of person. There's some distrust going on between one person or another. Or maybe there's like a disdain for one a job that you're doing and you're wanting something else. Or you're with somebody and you're wanting somebody else. There's some type of distrust happening, right? regardless um and you have the ten of cups which is showing to me this is like a distrust in terms of like a relationship perhaps which is not very good energy right and like you don't want to have to like distrust have a distrust in your relationship of some type um and then you have the nine of swords so it's like someone's like seeing some clues seeing like some red flags but they don't want to say anything there's, and this could be you or your person, right? It could be either way. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing in like this first row right here, Cancer. It's interesting. Yeah, this is so directly linked. Like, whatever your situation is, Cancer, it's there's a displeasure towards whatever it is that you're doing or not trusting in it fully, not wanting to commit to it fully. And. Like something about it scares you, perhaps. Maybe the page of wands. The page of wands tells me like uh, this is like new energy for you. Um, this is new energy. This is maybe some maybe something in this relationship, something in this workplace, something in your environment currently on your path right now. Cancer is triggering you. But I feel like it's bountiful. I feel like you should lean into this more. You know, we talk about this distrust that I was saying in, two of, in the Two of Swords, but I almost feel like with the Queen of Coins, she's kind of promising, Spirit's kind of promising to you, Cancer, that it's going to be prosperous. It's going to work out for you. You just have to work it, work through it. Don't take such a negative turn on everything, right? You don't have to have this distrust that the Two of Swords is speaking of. You don't have to. This is not necessary. This is a lesson. This is like a... This is like controlled chaos is what I keep hearing in my mind. Spirit's actively trying to like bring this forward to you because it's trying the spirit's trying to teach you something. We have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely like a fulfillment thing. You have two different Ten of Cups coming into your first or right off the bat. This is meant to happen for you, Cancer. Um, so don't worry or don't wonder why it's happening. Don't feel like you're doing something wrong. Don't feel like you're on the wrong path. Don't feel like you're investing in the wrong people because you're not. You're investing in the right things. You're doing the right things. You're like, if you're doing a job that it's not like ent entirely fulfilling right now, I feel like this is like a sign from spirit saying, just keep pushing. That's the overall message for that first row cancer is the spirit saying, like, keep pushing, keep persevering through. Um, I feel drawn to pull some more clarifiers though. Yeah, the star card, the ten of wands, and the queen of wands. So there is like a someone like a, maybe like scared of you're being you're scared of being vulnerable, perhaps. Someone's scared of being vulnerable. Someone's like dealt with a bunch of stuff. Because so many ten suits in this first row. Can I just say Scorpio or not Scorpio? Cancer. So many ten suits in your first row. And this is like when it's paired with the star card, like this is like a, this is destined to be, this is meant to happen. 
queen of wands with the, with the queen of coins in comparison as well or in contrast with it yeah this is like such a meant to happen like i know i keep saying this but it's just like i feel like those clarifiers just did nothing but like tell me even more just be like no this is meant to happen to you right now cancer this is meant to happen i hope i have not been calling you scorpio this entire time cancer um <laughs> but yeah for you cancer like this is meant to happen go with the flow of things right now don't overread don't analyze overanalyze things we have in your second row knight of cups four of wands and then knight of knight of wands so score uh, i'm gonna call you scorpio cancer i associate this energy Whenever I see a bunch of night cards, I always associate night cards with like youthful energy of some sort. And I definitely, yeah. So I pulled some clarifiers. Oh, yeah, a lot of swords, hello. So <laughs> a lot more than what you bargained for, Cancer. So for your clarifiers, I pulled the three of swords. So yeah, this is, I feel like this is playing off of your knight of cups cancer this three of swords is playing off of your cups and that like something this week might potentially be triggering you if you're not already going through it right now i feel like most of you are going through it currently of like trying to process some type of pain some type of triggering something's triggering you right now and this is your chance to not be limited by it we had the eight of swords come through which is showing like a mental thing this is like a mental journey this is a mental battle cancer this is up to you to decide how this is going to play out for you are you how much are you going to struggle in this how long is it going to take you to come to terms with how things are playing out right four of wands yeah like you have to just learn how to go with the flow of things yeah really knight of wands as well like this is kind of like just charging forward this is it's very similar to the chariot card in a way in, the, in a lesser version so I uh, yeah I almost feel like with like the signifier for that is that yeah this is just like it just is this is just part of the lesson this is what I keep hearing the uh we have the seven of swords you're moving on you're just going with the flow of things just a constant push for you cancer and just going with the flow of things because things are going to work out for you we have the happiest card in the deck the sun card things are going to work out for you so perfectly so don't overthink things right now don't overanalyze things don't beat yourself up for what is happening let's go into this third row for you the nine of cups so yeah definitely an emotional filled week for you cancer which is not really surprising right you're a cancer um, but this is such a cancer spread with all these cup cards um knave of cups and then three of swords so yeah this is again like i feel bad for just like this the entire reading cancer is just like a summary of me saying like things are going to just go with the flow of it right it's hard like it's easier said than done but i really feel it's almost like uh some people are wanting to like get rid of something get rid of people get rid of environments or work and i just don't feel like this is the week to make that kind of bold decision obviously you'll know for your own life cancer what is fitting for you yeah like you you're you're getting such a strong sensation right now of wanting to move on but i just i don't know like and i usually am not like this scorpio uh, why am i insisting on calling you scorpio cancer i'm not usually like this cancer but i truly feel like this is not the time for you to make a move right now yeah the knave of cups or where she's reclusing writing out her game plan i feel like this is more so your energy right now um you're writing out your game plan for success but right now you're not making a bold move out you 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 have your two yeah two of wands as well you're holding your world you're paying attention you're you're analyzing your world around you around you your environment and seeing how things can play out then utilizing everything to the best of their potential and the only way you can do that is by taking a moment taking a breather taking a step back from the situation cancer because this is definitely like a lot of emotion you don't want to make your decision based off emotion because that's how someone ends up getting stabbed right through of swords um yeah just take a moment cancer take a breather before making a decision take this week to write down your game plan take this time to really 
um, just go with the flow of things and trust in this process. Trust in the divine. Right now, for you. yeah, cardinal card um, is talking about balance. Um, the octopus card is just like, you know, like very just flexibility. Like, this is really just a week for you, Cancer. Not to like go to blows with anybody. Go to blows with yourself. Don't don't fight it. Just like go with the flow of it. That's really what it is. That's going to be like the title of this video. It's like going with the flow. Just go with the flow of it, Cancer. And I promise you things will work out. So we have your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. The answers you need are coming. And then fixed moon, hold your vision and take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. So yeah, these moon cards just summarize this entire message for you, right? This is letting you know that your answers you need are coming. So you can just go with the flow of things. Your hard work is paying off, right? New moon in Capricorn. Um, things are just going into balance right just you have to practice being like the, taking the octopus energy i feel like with being able to blend in with your environment and just be able to like just go with the flow of things holding your vision that entire time reminding yourself what it is that you need to be doing from a balanced place the cardinal moon but before you make that action before you take action cancer take time to breathe out right let's pull a card for the universe and from overall message from spirit to see for you cancer to close off this reading compassion this is such a fitting card i feel again for cancer this is a week of compassion this is a week because it's like maybe you really the relationships in your life right now cancer are being served as obstacles or lessons and so practice compassion with yourself practice compassion with other people and see this week as the lesson that it is don't take things personally don't internalize things this week cancer um those messages that i have for you cancer i hope this is helpful and i can't wait to connect with you again soon bye